Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new game of Civilization 5 of the noobs. Welcome Sophie. Hello. Welcome Bryony. Hello. <laughs> welcome Oz. Hello. And welcome Kirsty. Hello. And also welcome Duncan. Hello. So I will be commentating along with Lewis. We won't be playing. Um, we're going to try and help these guys through their very first game of Civ 5. Bryony, you've picked Greece. I have. Uh, any reasoning? Uh, I just bloody love Greece. I I'm excited to be Pericles. Okay. If uh, he's famous. Uh, Sophie, you've picked Wales. Yes. <laughs> well, I was going to go for the Goths, but apparently it's not Goths. They're different kind of Goths, I think. Uh, Kirsty, you've picked Rome. Yes. I'm Rome because Duncan said I'm not allowed to be Korea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she instantly picked Korea, which made me think that Rhythian told her to. Yes, I heard no, that you I... had played a game with this with Rhythian. Rhythian has not told... I've played a game with him before. Bryony... I, I love Korea. Bryony came in this morning, and the first thing she said to me was, Kirsty's been cheating. <laughs> I haven't been cheating. I want to be transparent. I have played Civ 5 before. Sophie, yeah, the first thing Sophie said to me this morning was, what... What what is Civ? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the level of uh, stuff we're dealing with here. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Oh, you're doing um, sitting bowl of the Sioux. Sioux. The Sioux. Yeah, I'm trying to rewrite history. Uh huh. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> I mean we all know how it goes down, don't we? Oh. For the Native Americans. Bad for the Sioux. But yeah. I want to go to the, the, the Mars. I want to go Mars. <laughs> I want to take the Sioux up into space. Sweet. Sioux to the moon. <laughs> Sioux to the moon. <laughs> sure. So you have to settle your settler. Oh, my God. I should have made them all do the tutorial, Duncan. <laughs> you are the tutorial. <laughs> You're doing it now. You're playing a game against each other. We're just going to commentate. Well, right? Are we going to have to help them a bit? <laughs> I don't know. Oh God, there's do chocolate this. here. Oh, you've got chocolate. I've got tea. Let's put it together. We can work together. <laughs> we, can make, we can make bounties. I've got coconuts. Coconuts, sweet. And you've got oh, copper. Okay. Yeah, what do I do? So you've got two units there. You've got a warrior, which is the axe, and you've got a settler, which is the flag. So click on the settler. And then the bottom left is like his orders. Yes. See the top, bottom left, there's like a menu above his name. Oh, sleep. And then the top one, the top <laughs> one is found a city. Ah, yes. I like those options. <laughs> yes, call sleep. it. How do I even pronounce this? I hank. So you can change that if you want to. Wanna. I hank than wanna. <laughs> I hank than wanna. That's a cool name. I think that is the real name of that place. Click on the choose production and then choose something to build in that city. Oh. I recommend a scout. Yeah. A scout is, is a great choice early on. Right, all of you should settle your city and build a scout. Okay. And then you will also need to click things like choose research, Sophie. Um, and then you can also choose what you would want to research tech-wise. So Ooh. what are the early Welsh, cave-dwelling Welsh into? Sheep. <laughs> animal herding then. Okay. Animal, okay husbandry. animal husbandry. Animal husbandry. You do actually start with sheep right yeah, in your... Yeah, of course. It's a bias. So the other thing you need to do is, if you scroll out a little bit with the mouse wheel, you'll see there's a lot of unexplored <gasps> land. You need to send your units to explore that land to build new cities to take over new land. These guys. So that's your warrior. So if you, if you move him towards the unexplored areas of the map by right-clicking somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, good start. Are you, you giving now, your you... cities crisp names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, is that, a, is that a building? Look at the size of that deer. <laughs> <laughs> the deer is That's huge. Ridiculous. Yeah, these are mega four. They were bigger back in the old like, days. Yeah, sure. I've only got three sheep, but they're the size of a well, small town. Well, the year town. is currently four thousand BC. So if you're ready to press next turn, Kirsty. Oh yeah. Everyone sorry. else has ended their turn. You now have ninety seconds to do your next. No, turn. What, why would you? That is oh, all. How many things can you do? <laughs> how many things can you do? Well, everything I'm you panicking, just did, Lewis. you do it again. But now it's reset. You see. So yeah, you want to take your scout when you build it and your warrior and just explore as much of the area as you can, looking for these like ruins, which gives you stuff if you find ruins. They're really good. Okay. Where's my boys gone? I've only got warriors. Where's the other boys? The other boy was turned to a city. Oh, I see. But the city's making a scout, so you have that next. Oh, I see. This is a real noobs game. <laughs> well, I told, I told you. <laughs> I told you they've never played before. You didn't believe me. I feel like they should have done the, I feel like they should have done the tutorial. This is, like, this is like the tutorial game. 
It's not even a noobs game. Everyone can learn along with us. It'll be nice. What do, what's what's next good to do? Uh, is so next you'll probably want a worker so you can start improving the land around your cities. Okay. And then what do, do I do? So take your scout that you just built and then move him somewhere you want to explore. Probably south because you've got a coast, coast to the north. I've discovered cows. Cows. Doing well. <laughs> The great scientific discovery of cows. <laughs> I've invented cows. I made these. <laughs> okay, so you guys are doing fine. <laughs> Me and Duncan are going to take a little back seat now and just watch what you're doing. And you hopefully will be able to... We've given you the basics. Okay. Yeah. The very just play the game. <laughs> but just if, play the game for it. Just play the if game. If you have any questions, just ask a question and we'll, we'll, we'll answer So it. are you all building workers? You are, right? So I'm building a worker. So the next yeah. things you've got options. Now, you've got options for how you proceed. The first thing to do is consider building another settler. Now, that will let you get a unit that you start. You remember you started the game with a settler and you pressed B and found a city, right? That's how you got your first Ooh. city. You can get more of them. More cities down if you build settlers. So okay. consider building one of them. Or you could consider building hmm. a monument. A monument will make your boundaries grow quicker and it will give you unique bonuses that make your sieve better because there's this thing called the cultural tree that will pop up um, and give you bonuses. So, Or you could build a granary that will give you more food that will grow your city more quickly. So your city, for example, Kirsty, has loads yeah. of food around it already. You mm -hmm. don't really need too much um, extra food. You got wine. You got wine. Oh, nice. Let's drink that. So wine is a luxury resource. As your cities grow, Ooh, la la. they will demand things to keep their people happy. If they're unhappy, then they will start spawning barbarians that you will then have to kill. Basically, what Kirsty's done, which you guys need to know, is if you click on the name of your city, um, you'll see that it will. Ooh. You see, it's got these little, um, little green apples. They're the tiles that it's working. So for you, Sophie, you've got, um, I think, four tiles being worked there. So you've got a population of four. Nice. Each of those is generating a certain amount of food. The more food you have, the quicker your city will grow and the more population will come in it and the more tiles they will work. If you improve that sheep, for example, Sophie, you will get an extra resource every turn, okay. which will make your city build things quicker, will make your city grow quicker. And that's why you that's will beat other players, is by having higher production and higher efficiency in your city also Ozzy, you've just found you found a couple of city states which are like ai oh. cities oh that you could trade with there's some brutes down there yeah yeah the nasty oh. boys there's some scary scary brutes why where did you move the I'm worker there to, i'm trying to move him <laughs> to the maze i don't think you have that maze yet it's on the tile next to it fucking why did go here then? Why are they You've just... Used this room for the... I'm hearing a lot of complaining. I'm hearing a lot of complaining. I've got a policy thingy that I can do. Okay, so Bronnie, that's the social tree now. So you've got mm. enough culture to open a thing. I would highly recommend just tradition as yours as a starter one. It's, it's just it makes your small empire better. Okay. And it's unlikely you're gonna have a big empire. We're gonna have to explain this again three more times. Yeah. So if it looks like your workers have work, walked past the sheep there. Oh. oh, no, I think I sent them to the ruin. Oh, I see. Oh, Is right. that wrong? Well, the workers are supposed to be building things, not going and oh. dying in the middle right, of nowhere. Right, bat lads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found an elephant. Ah. Don't look at what, what it's really called. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kirsty, you're Hello. doing fantastic. You've built a farm. Yes, You've... I've got me corn on the go. I need to get uh, trapping and, and stuff to get the rest of me boys. You're building but a settler that, as well. Right. Yeah, Very I've got exciting. a settler on the go. Yeah. My scout got upgraded by some ruins, so he's a little bowman oh, now. Oh, amazing. So he's off on a walk. Okay. Um, I've got a warrior over there just to fight them. Now, what you should know, everyone, is that there are these things called barbarians. They are red... <laughs> How do I get him on the coconut? He was, he was, he was already on it. Oh, for goodness! <laughs> it points at the, it points at the coconut. Oh um, goodness me! So if you, yeah, look at the shape of that circle with the coconut in it. It's got like a pointy edge. He's actually edge. on a coconut at the moment. He is. But it's not within your. He was in, He was on this one. Before. He's on some illegal coconut land. <laughs> what you could do? Click on your city. Don't move him there. Oh my god, why are you moving him further away? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Get this 
Tea. Oh my God, O's. Why just keep moving up? I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. I know. I've got an idea. Don't, do I... don't take control of her computer, oh. Duncan. Oh my God. So yes, yeah, so barbarians will come and attack you. So you don't really want your warrior to be too far away from your home, which in your case, Sophia isn't, which is great. Now you have built Settler, so you see it's in your capital. Yes. So you need to click on that. And if you zoom out, it will actually usually recommend these little places for you to expand to. This one's quite okay. good. So try and move it to there. Yeah, that works. Access to luxury resources. Sure. Yeah, that's a bit of me. And then move your scout over there as well, just in case. These guys. Yes. They just discovered Mount Kilimanjaro, did you know? Did oh. they? Yeah, look, it's here. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, wow. that's actually... That's, that's such a good place for a next city, then. Oh, wait, hang on. I've got three seconds. I'm going to have to make some in. <laughs> 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 I panicked. What do I do with my warriors? What do they... What's the point? So, when you build a settler now, you do want to have a, a, a military unit to escort it, because otherwise barbarians will steal it. So, if you're building a settler, it might be a good time to start moving him back home. Okay. Or build another warrior. So, just pick home. that. Just pick anything, Sophie, and get on with your turn. <laughs> Press I was reading them! Yes, I was. Now you can click the make farm button. There you go. Oh, Boom. Thank Christ. Are you finally building a coconut farm? No. Maze. She, need, she needed to the plantations for that. Okay, and then what, what should I get these guys back home? Do you I think? would, yeah, try, start moving them back home because you're making a settler and you want to be able to protect that settler. Okay. But the, the scout can stay out exploring. Okay. Found city. Found city, that is yes. the one, yes. Yeah. Sophie's the first one of two cities. Oh my no, goodness. Boop, boop, boop. Well, finally, my guys are doing something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> For like the last hundred years, yeah. I've just been circling around some So coconut. because you've got, you've got so many coconuts there, <laughs> the next tech you want to get is um, one that gives you access to plantations. Um, so when you choose research now. Okay, so plantations. Yeah, so to get plantations, you need to get calendar. So that should be your next time. Oh, of course. That makes so much sense. <laughs> like, well, it's because of the be it's because of how the year works, you know. <laughs> you uh, need to know that you... crops grow in spring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And, yeah. I I didn't. Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> so, Sophie is doing great. She's got two cities down. She has got barbs, but I've told her to build warriors, so she's going to be able to fight the barbs with warriors. Now. You don't want to attack over the river, so walk over the river next to the barbarian camp. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> walk them over there, perfect. And then you can start attacking them next turn by, by running your warriors into their barb camp and trying to kill them. Okay. If you kill them, it will stop more barbarians coming and it will give you some money. Okay, Briny, let's have I'm a look at what you're doing. Oh my god, Briny has found <laughs> a barb camp with loads of barbarians. <laughs> One <around>. barb camp? <laughs> this, this, this. That's amateur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's multiple barb camps. <laughs> Okay, so Great Testicles is surrounded by barbarians. And it's pronounced testicles. Hi, Sophie. I found your scout. What, you did? I did. You're north of me. Oh. Oh. Well met. Brian, you've done a great job of exploring, by the way. Look at this. Look at how far. clear your map yeah. is. That's why she found so many barbs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, I sent you a deal. Oh what? my god, what You're does that mean? already doing little deals. You click the little world in the top right, the diplomacy one, and then click me. It might show up, I think, question mark. I can't remember. Declare war? No! <laughs> <laughs> so, so click on that. And she's offered you a Ooh. deal. Kirsty has offered you a deal, Sophie. Would you like to have a declaration of friendship? Yes, I think friendship. that would be a wise choice. I think the synergy, you know, the sum is... Stronger than the parts. Then. Very cool. Sick. Did the Romans ever invade Wales? I nice. Don't yeah, the ca half of Cardiff Castle is the Roman castle, oh, right. and the, the top half is new. There's like a line in it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. Did they get all of Wales, the Romans? Oh, no one ever gets all of Wales. Come on. <laughs> Not even the Welsh. <laughs> Not even. Not even okay, the ouch. Welsh, no. <laughs> Bit harsh. Uh... Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. Um, yeah, looking good. Trying to get my boys back home. You also want to be thinking about where you're going to put your next city. How do I do? How do I make city? So you're making a settler now, right? Yeah. So wait until he's built. Um, it's always a good idea to put it on a, on a river. I would say. Okay. 
They're demanding things from me now. They demand amber. Oh, you found a natural wonder. Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll cause the city to enter. We love the King Day. These are not <laughs> my people. <laughs> and they are definitely not Welsh. I can tell you that for free. Right. <laughs> So that means you need to find a source of amber somewhere. But again, it's not very important, so I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. Continue smashing into this barb camp. How are you dealing with your barbs, Bryony? Uh, they're in my city. It's not <laughs> great. Okay. Uh, Do you have any cash, like gold? Not enough no, to you, buy you a warrior, no. Really do. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. You, you, I mean, you'll be okay. So this is a classic Rhythian <laughs> situation here of... <laughs> Neglecting the barbs. How he always gets into the situation. Well, I've got barb camps on three sides of my city, which is a bit of oh a dear. bit of a bugger. Now, the first thing you should build, you should consider building five barbs. If a real problem with is is an archer. Now that does need the technology archery, and now you're starting to see why the technology choice matters. But it's again, this game is a little bit like, what do I need on in a, in a given moment Oops. are barbs attacking me i should be probably building troops um do i not have enough land i should probably be building settlers do i have a lot of land but it's not improved i should probably be building workers you see what i mean so you've got to make those choices yourself o's i love what you've got going uh... which is basically a lot of coconuts <laughs> and very little else oh there's briny i found briny oh, hiya hiya hey. hiya Oh, can I do this and then trade with Kirsty? Yeah. Oh, I see. Ooh. So, yeah, if you build a trade caravan, it will go to its destination and trade goods, right? Which is a very good thing. However... Oh, God, I knew what's happening. If you bring it through land where there is barbarians, they will pillage it and you will lose it. So naughty. Can't so you anything, can start can you? off by having it go to your own city, between your own cities. I'm sort of getting scripts with the UI. I, that's always my trouble is like the UI mm. is the first hurdle. Yeah. Because I can't think about, I, I don't even know how to work the work, I work in, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> no. so. I can't even get my boys in the right tile, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, philosophy. That's pretty, that's pretty Greek. Ooh. That's pretty Greek. It's just drama and poetry. Oh, oh they were freak. very dramatic. Is this when I can press space? Space. What does space do? Didn't someone say you press space earlier? Make if you turn go. If you want to skip a guy's turn, you just press space. Oh, oh, okay. oh right. Space. I didn't want to do that. Oh. I thought you meant I could skip everybody else's turn, so I didn't have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So you finished your go early, and now you're like next. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. So, Kirsty, you're Ooh, doing grand. Yeah. You've got cheese and onion and ready salted. Again, miles away from your capital. Very strange oh, choice. I have plans. I have plans. You're building a wonder, I notice. Now, I wonders it's are about to be built. very slow to build buildings that you can build in your cities, and they will give you very powerful bonuses. A wonder, for example, would be the pyramids. Mm, Mount or, Kilimanjaro. That's not a wonder. That's a natural wonder. You can't build Mount Kilimanjaro. Could build a tourist center in it. You could. <laughs> point, Make a gift shop. <laughs> exactly. The fifth wonder of the world. The Mount Kilimanjaro <laughs> gift shop. Lovely key rings. Yeah. You should be able to build stuff on natural wonders late game, though. Like that. That's a great idea.